Hey guys, how's it going? Diffused Animal here. Welcome to today's video. This one's going to be a little different in the way that it's set up and the style of the video. Basically, what I'm going to do is show you guys a full game of Ranked on the map Favelas. And I'm going to do a running commentary explaining what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And also what I could have done better. Like I say... This is the first time I've done this, so let me know how it goes and if you find it helpful in the comments below, and let's get into it. So, as you can see, I've done my setup as Valkyrie, and my role is to defend the A site from underneath with my C4. Now, I am playing this with my team, so I've asked Max to play in the B site, as I know that I can't defend that one from below as well. Op 4 found a bomb, you must defend it. For now then, I'm just staying put underneath, using my cams and my headset to let my team aware of where the opposition is pushing from and where they are droning. At this point, I hear someone repel, so I call out that Thermite could possibly be repelling on West. I cancel that when I realise it's not Thermite, but I mention I can hear at least two south side and on the roof, so the push could well be an A site push. Shortly after, Capiteo all of a sudden jumps into a doorway and starts to plant. This is my cue to get off the cams and use my C4 to stop him. My plan works a treat and even gets me a bonus kill. I now know that I'm useless down there because although I have a shotgun, the floor is indestructible. So I decide to rotate up pink and carelessly walk into a claymore. As a team, we decided it was pretty safe and it was worth the risk to revive me so that we still had the man advantage. Once I was up, I told my rescuer to go and flank up Yellow Tower whilst I flanked Pink. This meant, along with Bandit in OBJ, it should be easy to pincer the final push. I decided to hold the shallow angle on the doorway as I could hear movement near aunt's bedroom area and I knew they had to come through that door to get to the OBJ anyway. It turns out the person in pink was downed and Jaeger picked off the last man in weed to seal the round. For our first attacking round then, we were pretty sure they would go football too, as most teams do like to defend their first. So we plan to do an a site plant whilst I pin down weed and pink rotations from north rooftops as glass. Now, as all good teams do, the defending team tried to counter me from doing this by reinforcing the wall in weed. Luckily though, I'd spotted this during drone phase and asked Thermite to come and open it for me before he then rotated to go and open up west wall of the bomb site. I then get into position and almost straight away, Reese gets taken out from someone between Weed and Yellow Tower doorway. Now, the reason I didn't move and try to trade back is because most people after getting a kill move so I waited to see if he would try and run back to OBJ through my line of sight I also thought that if I did try to peek straight away and he was still holding the angle he would have the advantage after a few seconds I do decide to have a quick look and as I do he runs through the door that I just stopped pinning down. A bit of bad luck but nothing I could have done about it. So I return to my original spot to pin down rotations once again and immediately someone is there trying to quick peek me. I decide to just keep pre-firing as unless he headshots me my weapon does more damage than his and this paid off as I got the kill. Sometimes in a gunfight it is better to have the mentality of not worrying about how much damage you take as long as you deliver more. 
for the next 30 seconds or so then I continue my job of holding down rotation while the rest of my team drone out OBJ and get ready to plant. I quickly check my drone and see someone is in yellow and again try to reposition to hold the angle on yellow door. This was a bad choice really as when he runs through I potato aim and he gets passed. If I had just held my original angle I would have got him as I knew he had to rotate back to OBJ. Luckily though instead of going towards objective he stays in weed and tries to get me. I peek and get a fairly quick kill but then I know I need to get into a position to cover the diffuser in case Cavera takes out Thermite. I know by holding an angle on B window she can't get into A without passing through my line of sight unless she goes outside. I don't know what she tried to do then but it did scare the shit out of me. Now in this next round our setup was all over the place. Personally I fucking hate this map and most of my team aren't keen either so consequently we haven't done many strats for it. That being said, leaving the whole of South Wall unreinforced is just bewildering to me, but it was left so you have to adapt and deal with it. As you can see, I'm wandering around like a headless chicken and I don't even put my barbed wire down in the end. So all in all, a really poor setup for me personally and the team in general really. So I take up a sketchy position in Aunt's apartment and immediately think the opposition are going to open up the south wall and screw me over. Valkyrie manages to get an early pick onto the other team and I just sit here waiting to get picked from either east window or south wall. Then Charlie decides to come and mute the east wall and then the south wall, which is unreinforced and a wall in which they have been shooting through to try and get wall bangs. Not the brightest of ideas, but somehow he manages to get away with it though. You will notice I shot the radio out there. This is so I could concentrate more on trying to hear where the opposition might be coming from. Most maps where there is music playing, there is usually a radio or speakers you can shoot to stop the sound distraction. I also hear an ash charge go off, so I thought, oh, there goes part of Southwall, but nope. And then a thermite charge goes off upstairs. At this point, it is clear that the enemy team are doing an aunt's bedroom push, so I tell my team to rotate upstairs and I will hold downstairs on my own. I then hear movement from my southwest window, so I check it out and catch a glimpse of Ash falling off the roof, presumably to get a teammate to reset her. I wait until I hear that teammate run over and then decide to take the aggressive decision to jump out and try and get both. The risk was worth it and gave us the man advantage, so I quickly get back into the building and head upstairs as I get the call from Jaeger that Buck is up there with him. Unfortunately, Buck gets to frag, taking it down to a 1v1, and from the kill cam, Jaeger tells me he's repelling south. I decide to stay on the stairs as I feel I can rotate to either OBJs from here and then hear him repel upstairs. I hold the angle towards Aunt's bedroom because I know he either has to plant or push me. The angle should have been tighter which would have prevented the trade, however we drew the round which put us in a good position at 3-1. So for our next attacking round we were pretty confident that they would go football again so this time we opted to take a Habana and a Thermite so that Habana could open up Weed's north wall for me whilst Thermite opened up OBJ walls. This would save us time and give us more options. It is also safer for Hibana to open weed because unlike Thermite she doesn't have to repel and risk getting run out on. My role for this round then is the same as the last attacking round which is to try and stop any rotation to and from objective and as soon as Habana opens up the wall for me I take up my position. 
Now, this time I expect the enemy team to offer more resistance, so I first of all take up a tighter angle just in case anyone is peeking. Once I feel I'm safe to do so, I take up my main position looking through weed towards pink and hold the angle looking for any picks. I then see someone run past me into weed. Now instead of trying to get them straight away, I try to learn from my mistake last time and keep on the angle in which they have to rotate back through. Otherwise, I know they are trapped in that room. However, when I see another run into weed, I do decide to act and try and get a kill. Now again, thinking back on it, this probably wasn't the right decision because I now know that I have two out of five people trapped which means only three at maximum can cover OBJ. As you just saw I completely fucked up by potato aiming and gave away that advantage as one escaped and ran on through football. I then decide to go back to holding my original angle whilst my team managed to get a couple of picks and then eventually I do manage to get a pick myself as a defender tries to rotate. My team are now pushing the objective with a 5-2 advantage but once again my aim lets me down when Frost runs out on me from the top of yellow. This did however teach me to next time make sure I put a claymore on that window. I made the call out of where I died from and Reese quickly closes down on Frost's position and gets a sketchy double kill to win us the round and the game. That's it for this one then guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I say, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will catch you later.